Today marked the final day for candidates to file for the upcoming election. Isabella Warren looks at who and what to expect on the May 21st ballot. We're just two months away from the May primary elections, and that means deadlines are quickly approaching for both candidates and voters. Three candidates met the March 12th filing deadline for Deschutes County Commissioner, former House District 54 candidate Judy Trago, and business owner Rob Imhoff, along with current County Commissioner Phil Chang. The May 21st primary will narrow the field to two. Housing, conservation, health services, child care, uh, and more. Um, and uh, basically, I want to continue to work on all of those things. Candidates for Deschutes County Sheriff are Captain William Bailey, who was endorsed by previous Sheriff Shane Nelson, and the current Detective Sergeant to the code team, Kent Vanderkamp. My Sheriff's Office is going to be an innovative, trusted, and collaborative agency that we're going to support a safe and thriving Central Oregon. With only two running for the sheriff's race, it will not be on the ballot until November. Once we get all that information, we can take everything together, put it together, and start creating our ballots. And from there, you know, of course, uh, creating our ballots, proofing the ballots, testing our systems, and make sure that everything's tabulating the way we expect it to. Three measures have also been filed in Deschutes County, two fire levies for the Lapine Rural Fire District, and a five-year tax renewal for Newberry Estates, a manufactured home park in Lapine. Statewide, more than 300 candidates have filed with positions for six U.S. representatives, 60 members of the State House, and 15 members of the State Senate all up for grabs. For more information on the election and candidates, visit your county's website. Isabella Warren, News Channel 21. Tonight we're asking, do you plan to vote in the May 21st primary election? To weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage, or you can scan the QR code on your screen. That'll take you directly to our web poll. Gas prices across the nation and here in Oregon soared this week. The average price for a gallon of gas in Oregon rose eight cents to $3.95. In Bend, it's just below that at $3.90 a gallon. The national average jumped three cents. AAA says the switch to summer blend fuel could be a factor. Coming up, a new study from OSU Cascades looks at the impact of running shoes on your health. Plus, some Central Oregon teams celebrated the success of the 4A state basketball tournament. And after facing major criticism, a soon-to-be law aims to fix the problems of Measure 110. Kelsey McGee looks at the impact of these changes up next. Got news? You're an important part of our team. Send your tips, photos, and videos to ktvz.com share.